And up next, ladies and gentlemen, is the sixth and final King of the Ring qualifying match. El Guapo meets Joe Namath in a now best two out of three falls match. Tony Chimmel, you know what to do. And final King of the Ring qualifying match. First from Mexico, weighing 200 pounds, the legend. El Guapo and Joe Namath, the last entrant of the King of the Ring, should be very interesting. And this show has been brought to you by the 2012 FPW King of the Ring Tournament. Also brought to you by Sprite, the tasty beverage of the King of the Ring Sunday, May 13th, next Sunday night. You do not want to miss out on all the tremendous action. And ladies and gentlemen, Joe Namath making his glorious entrance down the rampway. He looks ready. He looks poised. And I hope, girl, that he gets to join all the old-time greats. All the old kings of the ring. I can't wait for next weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, up off on the right, right off the bat, Joe Namath and El Guapo Kula. And I'm not surprised, folks, because even weeks ago, months ago, if anything else, the Upstarts and Super Squad performed great, tremendous tag team wrestling. And now, this time, it's not about tag team titles. It's not about contenderships. This is about the King of the Ring. Oh my goodness! Did you see that? Don't show off there, all Quad, but this is a very important match. The winner of this match gains the last entry into the King of the Ring. It's going to be a very amazing event, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait for next Sunday night. It will be packed to the brim at all day event. Already the venue looks pretty damn interesting. For this 16 minute tournament, it's going to be off the, off the walls, ladies and gentlemen, off the charts. Hell's bells, buckets, blood. Great counter maneuver there by Joe Namath over the cover. Only gets a one count. My God. El Guapo, no stranger to the King of the Ring, folks, because he actually entered the King of the Ring not long ago. I'm serious. He actually entered the King of the Ring tournament, and he wasn't even part of the roster. I mean, El Guapo has been known for his time here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling from his inception, from the year 2000. Hell, his wrestling debut was back in 1999. He's been wrestling for many, many years. But for his time in 2000 to 2002, El Guapo has been that very main thing. Only came back a couple of years ago. And now he's got Joe Namath upside down in the tree of woe. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Joe fights back. From the side of the ring is a full chair and crowns him. The chair has been warped. Good grief. Joe Namath knows how to use that chair. And El Guapo knows how to use his legs. And in no way is that sexual, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Best two out of three falls, ladies and gentlemen. That means you must beat your opponent two times in a row. Or just get two wins out of three. Ah. And of course, Sky Stanley gets involved. There's the third 
Nick and Final Amigo. And I believe, folks, this will conclude match one. So far, it is one nothing in favor of El Guapo. And now we're on to match two. The clock has restarted itself. And the song is still playing. This is still the first song, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Namath has a huge mouth to climb. He's going to pin El Guapo or make him submit two times back to back. El Guapo has to beat Joe Namath one more time. Come on, Joe Namath. If you want to enter the King of the Ring, you got to beat the legend of El Guapo. It's that simple, really. Come on, off the ropes. Against the ropes, put on the brakes. Realizing that running across the ropes is useless. Really? Really, this is kind of annoying. Hey, DJ Samurai, can you fix this? You don't want to see no fucking commercials during our, during our broadcast. Uh, oh well. We're stuck with this uh, commercial break, folks. So sorry, bear with us. We'll have some music coming up soon. And now Joe Naiman looking down on El Guapo. Come on, Joe. Keep in the ring. Qualifying match. You want to enter or not? Do you want to enter? Oh, nice countering from that suplex. Don't use up the weapons, Joe! Don't use up weapons! Oh my goodness! Could this be what I think it is? Could this be? Oh! Calf branding! Calf branding! What is this? Oh! What a direct hit! Right in the twig and berries! What are you waiting for, Joe? Are you gonna pin him or not? What the hell is this? What's the matter with you, Joe? Come on, guy, get at least one victory. At least one victory. And he pins him outside. What the hell? Second amigo, and there's the third and final amigo going for the cover. It is all over, folks. No, I am off my feet, ladies and gentlemen. Literally off my feet. Escape, Joe Namath has a lead pipe in hand. Use that weapon cautiously, young kid. Oh. No! No! Get up, Joe! Get up! Oh, the swan dive. He walks into danger. Joe Namath, do you realize that if you win this thing, you go on to King of the Ring? Do you understand? Come on, Joe. Don't mess things up. Don't mess things up. Oh, my God. And now he's got the legend bleeding. That's one step, I guess. Continue, kid. Continue. Joe on a barrage attacks with those with that crutch and inflicting more damage, more pain to the legendary El Guapo. What is Joe doing now? Folding chair in hand. Wow, no laws of physics have applied on that exchange right there.